I will be sharing the reasons why you aren't losing weight on low calories. Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, as you can see, there's a change in the scenery just because today is a beautiful day and lightning here was way better. So there's a little change, but right now, as always, it is a third train with me series. I see that you're really enjoying it. I also enjoy doing them and filming them and giving you tips. We are training together, getting stronger together, which is amazing. If you have anything nice to say, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And also subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel, ring that bell so you won't miss my future videos. In the end of this video, after the workout, I will be sharing some tips on and reasons, of course, why you aren't losing weight while eating low calories and also will be giving some advices how you can fix that and how you can start progressing again. So, without much talking, let's get into this workout. And let the killer glute session begin. Um, of course, as always, I start my workouts with a little bit of a warm-up. I'm doing some step-ups with the band. This is the one that I created myself. And there's still four different designs available on the website. Dear Force, you can check it. The link below if you want. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm just doing some step ups i absolutely love them to fire up those glutes before moving into the exercises so this is the first exercise that burns your glutes and prepares them for the killer session as it is of course i'm always doing four sets really slowly focusing on the movement on the squeeze of course i try to imagine that i lift myself up from the glutes pushing from the heels and just using my glutes not my lower back you shouldn't feel any pain in your low back remember that also i was finishing up my fourth set with just body weight squats and here we go we are moving into romanian deadlifts i did them with a barbell i usually don't like going heavy on this exercise because then i start feeling it in my lower back which shouldn't be the case it's a hip inch movement which is similar to hip thrust that we also will be doing in this workout but the main key point is to just focus on the movement keep the weight as close to your knees as possible and hold the pause at the top for a second and of course because i'm really short i need to adjust all the machines for my little frame so i'm using size small and the main key point i can give you on this exercise is to make sure that your hips are laying flat into the pad into the machine you shouldn't feel any pain in your lower back make sure that your hamstrings are working the entire time do the exercise slowly especially when you are releasing the weight just don't let it go down Make sure that you're controlling it the, the entire time. It's really important. And of course, don't go too heavy because then you will for sure won't be doing the exercise correctly. And of course, right now we're moving to my absolute favorite leg day exercise, which is, as you can see, reverse hack squat. I absolutely love this exercise for my glutes. Of course, your quads will work as well. Also, it depends how well are your mind to muscle connection here. So the key points I can give you is you shouldn't be standing too wide or too close. Make sure your feet are slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Um, also, your feet should be pointing outwards just a little bit. Go deep. Don't arch your lower back. Make sure your spine is neutral and push from your heels. And as always, make sure that you aren't using too heavy of a load because it will impact your form in a negative way. While setting up for this exercise, I was having a little bit of a troubles here, as you can see. So just bear with me. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. So this was a killer tricep. Actually, I did 
a single leg hip thrust which you can see the weight isn't heavy here because it's way more difficult to do it single leg than to do it um, normally so I was doing just left leg right leg and then I will be doing this exercise both legs so I'm not pausing or stopping in between these movements I do everything just right after another one leg another leg then both with hip thrust of course you want your spine to be in a neutral position chin should be tucked in in your chest you should be looking in front of you directly and of course making sure that your feet are in 90 degree angle and your glutes are firing also i added just hip abductions with the pan at the end to fire up those glutes even more and finish this exercise in the best possible way so right now we're moving to the almost last exercise which was curtsy lunges in a smith machine if you watch my channel you know that i absolutely love this exercise this exercise is amazing for your glutes and legs of course i am doing everything slowly as always pausing and stopping at the bottom my knee almost touches the ground because you want to make sure that you are squatting deep which is really important and last but not least exercise is smith machine squats so instead of doing a leg press this time for the convenience because i was already in a smith machine i was doing it here and because i'm standing a little bit wider like a sumo stance i also work the adductor muscles a little bit so the focus here is squats and glutes of course so i really hope you enjoyed this workout if you did of course feel free to click the like button and i will be making sure that every single video that i post from now on will be just getting better and better um because you guys watching my videos gives me just so many great emotions motivations motivations to keep going and just sharing everything so right now i will be sharing the reasons why you aren't losing weight on low calories and to be honest before getting into all the reasons i must say it is happening to me right now i am on a mini cut and in the beginning i was waiting 56 56.6 kgs and it is i'm not sure it's fourth week of my mini cut or third week and my weight was going down really progressively gradually and nicely but today i weighed pretty much the same as in the beginning my weight went up one kilogram point three kgs since my last weight in so right now i weigh 52.2 so it's kind of frustrating but to me i believe the reason why it is that my period is coming and i feel so bloated water retain, retaining water and just not my best this is the first reason why you might be not losing weight even though you actually are but it's just an illusion that you aren't losing weight um, it's just water retention um, from your period also it might be indigestion from your period and there's many other reasons why you aren't losing weight so the second one is of course your hormones aren't balanced the cause of imbalanced hormones there might be many reasons why you your hormones are imbalanced but i will be talking about this more in my future videos if you like me to talk more about it just feel free to leave, the, to leave a comment below. Um, third, third reason why you might not be losing weight is that your, your body is stressed and it's holding on on water. Another reason might be your allerg allergies or intolerances to certain foods. Um, also another reason why maybe you change your diet a little bit you included those foods that you're allergic to or you aren't digest digesting properly which causes you to get those issues poor sleep is another one or just in general lack of sleep lack of rest also can cause those issues and last reason why is that you are tracking inaccurately um, you must pay attention to the labels read labels of your foods make sure you are tracking everything as you should be 
because you might be thinking that you are eating 1500 calories while in reality maybe you are eating 80,000 calories so it's just pay attention to those things and right now to possible fixes and how you can fix your metabolism and start losing weight again first things first i must say if you are staying on a diet for such a long time and you aren't losing weight even though you are training hard eating little it might be time for you to get some diet break um, just to eat a little bit more for a certain period of time it depends on your specific situation for how long but just make sure to give your body a little break and then start reducing your calories again. Possible fixes for those things that I've mentioned in the beginning for hormonal imbalances you definitely should be doing your blood work regularly especially if you are thinking that you have some imbalances go check with your doctor if you have some imbalances, just make sure to take natural supplements that your doctor is recommending to you. It might fix that and you might be losing weight again. Also, when it comes down to blood work, you can also can check your cortisol levels. If you are super stressed, I would recommend you to reduce your intense cardio sessions for a little while. Also, you can take natural supplements to help you with stress. Take more time to rest, sleep well, have a sleeping routine, it helps a lot. Um, I'm just not saying this for just to say this, but it really helps. Have more time for yourself and I promise you will see results again. If you are intolerant to certain foods, just make sure to eliminate them from your diet completely. It might be hard in the beginning, yes, you might really love your Greek yogurt, cottage cheese and stuff. These are products that usually a lot of people are allergic to or, e or even egg whites, nuts and stuff like that. If you have intolerances or allergies, find some food to exchange with and just eliminate it and see how you feel. You might feel way better, your workouts will start getting better as well which will result in a faster weight loss. Now for tracking accurately, just make sure to check the food labels correctly. Um, usually we read a serving size calories and just check how many calories has the food that you eat in 100 grams. Not a serving because serving sizes usually are less than 100 grams and when we are tracking we're making those mistakes and overall we are just overeating. And last but not least fix and tip is just don't rush the process. It's absolutely normal for you to Get in a plateau of your weight loss for a little bit. Also, progress slows down with time. So just be patient, work hard. If you need, take a little break and then get back to it. Just make sure you aren't getting yourself into unrealistic expectations because it is so easy to do, especially when we see incredible transformations on social media. It's not always the real thing or even if it is it is just that person's journey not yours you are different you are unique you are amazing just stick to what you are doing and make adjustments of course if needed but just remind yourself that it's your journey it can take you a little bit longer than than someone else or even shorter as long as you're staying consistent and sticking with your plan you will be good to go so i really hope this video helped you and you enjoyed it it was super fun to film i love sharing tips with you and yeah if you did please feel free to leave a comment like this video and i'll see you in the next video next time